Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So today we get a little short here. Uh, what we're going to do is um, my buddy Stan down in Southern California sent me some, um, um, I call them welder squares. Um, and it was mainly, it was kind of a joke gift, but I thought we'd have a little bit of fun with it and um, um, kind of rework those a little bit and uh, see how good we can do with that. Um, so let's, uh, let's pop over to the surface plate and uh, we'll take a look at these fine articles um, and uh, talk about what we're going to do to them. Okay, um, let me change the camera around and we'll get over there. Okay, so these are these, uh, these, are these little um, speed squares that Stan um, uh, over at Shaden uh, HKW uh, makes. And he sent, me, uh, he sent me these originally, these are 9045s uh, here. Um, and then he sent me uh, a set of these uh, with the thickened webs and uh, the 3060. And I just love these things, they're great. They got a little edge on them and they can hook on things and you can use them for all kinds of stuff. But, you know, we like to joke around a little bit uh, between the, the YouTube guys. Uh, um, he also sent me, he sent me a matched pair of, of welder squares, which I thought was kind of cool. And here they are. Let's set those aside here. We wouldn't want these to co-mingle here. And, um, anyway, he sent me these these uh, these uh, relics here. And actually, he was nice enough. He put my name in it, and uh, and he really, you know, Stan spent some time making these things here, right? I, you know, they're just amazing, and I just love the uh, the weld spatter and uh, the you know the spalling of the uh, aluminum out of there. That's just wonderful. But what I thought we would do is. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do both of them. Well, maybe we'll do both of them. Um, what I thought we would do is kind of rework these and make them into precision squares and just see how good we can do uh, with just, you know, kind of normal tools and, uh, and, and, uh, and good technique and see if we can make these into some, uh, some star performers here. So they, they look a little rough and... Uh, um, but uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, that we can uh, we can do a pretty good job on these and uh, and straighten them up and uh, put them back in service. Okay, and maybe we'll mail them back to Stan. <laughs> So we're going to use uh, Stan's uh, little squares as our, or, uh, or his little triangles as our guide. And as you can see, the uh, <laughs> the angle is uh, on our fine aluminum square here is not that good. Okay, so let me get a little scribe on there. Okay, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna bandsaw that to start with, and uh, let's do this one too. We'll bandsaw that. God, I'm gonna cut off my uh, my name off of there. Darn it. Okay, well, they'll become no names. Well, maybe that's a good thing. All right, so we'll bandsaw that off, and then. Um, um, do some, uh, some milling.
Okay, I've swapped out my, uh, my regular height jaws for these taller jaws, and you'll see why in a minute. Um, but let's get this thing set in here. So I've attached this parallel just to give me a little reference edge here. And the idea is I want to create my first, my first surface there. Okay, like so. So this is the surface that's going to drive all the other surfaces. And I've chosen the longest one just because it's the longest one. Um, and it's not the hypotenuse, okay? So we're gonna create a 90 first. We're gonna create a good, good 90, and then we're gonna do our, uh, our angled surface. So I'm gonna take that off. And now I'm in there and I'm parallel with that. And uh, so I'm just gonna take just a light skim cut off, on, off of that, just enough to, uh, to get it to clean up all the way across. And then I'll lap that on the surface plate. And I'll show that, so don't worry. And, uh, and then we'll do, our, uh, we'll do our 90 degree, okay? Okay, so we're over here on our little uh, small surface plate. And this is this 600 grit um, wet dry paper. And what we're, oops. What we're gonna do here is that edge that we just milled, we're just going to just gently lap that strokes until the tool marks are gone like so okay and I deburred it that way that I don't have to file it after I lapped it so now this is our uh, yeah that's our reference edge I'm liking the look of that and there's how it started We'll do that one while we're at it. One more. Okay. Okay, so we're back on the mill and I've got our reference edge vertical now. And what I'm gonna do is I just want to bring it into kind of roughly square and what's, we're going to use the little the little triangles here like so this just gets us kind of close here okay, and I'm just lightly snugging the vise now I'm going to get that out of there now what I'll do is I'll get an indicator and we're going to sweep this edge vertically here, okay? And then uh, then we'll mill that and then we'll check it. Alright. Oh, Mr. Wizard. Alright, so what we're just going to do is just going to sweep that vertically. Like so, the full length of it. Alright, so we're seeing about 10. So let me uh, just get in here and just... about half of that out of there all right so where are we sitting there about two five all right let's go know when you got it because the indicator won't move as you come up. Alright, so what, uh, one, that's about two. Okay, one more. I think that's good enough for a uh, 
Okay, and I'm going to tighten it and I'm going to keep my eye on the uh, indicator, which moved a little bit. Okay, I'm going to get this nice and tight. What we got here? One. One and a half. Okay, I'm still going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to cut that surface, <clears throat> excuse me, and then we're going to take a measurement of that 90 degree and see uh, where we are, okay? Okay, so we're going to check, uh, we're going to check the 90 degree on these. First, we're just going to check our, uh, our comparator here, make sure that we're zeroed out. And I've checked this and it agrees with uh, the cylindrical square and the block, so just so people are wondering, you know. Okay, so this is zeroed out nicely. Uh, you want to be careful not to bump it. <clears throat> okay, so let's uh, let's do this one first here. Okay, and this is these are just milled; they're not ground or anything. So we're setting our reference edge down. Okay, and now we're going to just check this. Make sure we're bearing properly. Okay, so it's about a half a thou, four, four tenths by the gauge. Okay. Oh, I got a little higher reading there. Okay, so I'm going to call it a half a thou. Yeah, yeah let that sit down there a little, bit, a little bit better. Now, here's something that's interesting. You see that there's a little mark on there now. Um, so with soft materials like this, this is hardened steel, soft materials, you can actually wear your part. You see, that's a mark now, okay? So that's an innie now, not an outie, right? So you know, you, you check that 35 times and you've worn that, okay? When you're measuring small stuff like this, um, you gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, well, I'm wearing it right into, right into 90 degrees. <laughs> Let's check this one here. This is the, this is the gnarly one here. <laughs> see this all right that one's a lot better make sure I'm bearing properly here one and a half two tenths okay so that's two tenths on that one okay I don't want to see that it's got a little mark there okay um, and you can even see the little mark from the indicator ball too. Let's see if that one's got it. Yep, same thing there. So just beware uh, of that kind of a thing. Okay, this one's pretty close here, so we're not going to monkey with that one. This one, uh, well, what do I want to do here? All right, Mr. Wizard, what do you want to do there? Okay, scoot over to that side there. Oh, this one's pretty damn good too. I don't know why was I getting a higher reading. I, I must have uh, I must have scrubbed a little groove in that of a couple of tenths. So uh, is what it looks like. So this one, uh, this is my good one here. So let's. Uh, well, they're both pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, let's set up and do the angle on these guys and see if we can uh, get that real nice too, and uh, without uh, dropping them or screwing them up. Okay, so we're gonna, eat. <laughs> Mr. Wizard. Okay, so we're gonna use. Uh, we got some gauge blocks here. We got a little stack of gauge blocks, and then we got this sign bar here. Uh, this is a kind of an interesting one. It's been wire EDM cut, um, and um, what I like about this one is it's got a little, a little, ninety degree here that catches uh, the part and stops it from sliding off so you don't have to put a little clamp. Um, also, what's neat about this one is it's real thin. Um, so 
it fits in the vise and you can clamp your part. And listen guys, I don't have any wear blocks, so I'm just going right on the, these are just shop grade blocks here, so just take a chill pill. And um, normally you'd have a 100,000 square block or a 50,000 square block under there. Okay, let's, uh, let's drop our, uh, our one in here. Make sure that's all nice and clean. Alright, and then come up. Okay. And I'm just putting a little pressure on it. Not much. Whoops, I got a little problem here. Um, I really want to cut all the way across, but I really don't want to cut my sign bar either. So uh, I need to put a little block under the back here to kind of shift this up a little bit. Um, okay, let me grab a little block and I'll move that up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I think we're ready here. A little clearance clearance. Come down and I'm just going to touch that. Now, you know, some people might be wondering, gee, why don't I just use an end mill and cut this way and then cut 90 degrees, okay? Well, the problem with end mills is um, and this cutting on the side of them is that there's tool deflection and it's small admittedly but um, uh, working with the end surface of a tool like this gives you the the flattest um, the flattest surface okay um, and we want to try to use the same surface on all of those and uh, um, and you know, yes, you can do an accurate 90 degree, okay, but this is the way I'm doing it, okay? And uh, if you guys want to do it with the side of an end mill, you could do that too. Um, the trick is to verify your results, okay? Uh, so both work, just verify your results and, uh, and see how it works. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a, uh, really see if we can find the high spots here. And it's just taking a little fuzz off of there. Okay, there's a little bit right there. Now I don't want to take too much off because I don't want to dink my sign bar there. I'll take a couple thou. So basically I'm just looking for a cleanup on this surface and then we'll, uh, we'll check it and we'll go from there make whatever adjustments we uh, want to make, all right? Okay, so that should be our finished pass. All right, so I'm going to deburr that very carefully. I'm going to go over and give it a couple of strokes on the 600 paper, and then uh, we'll go over and uh, measure it on the surface plate and see how we did with the angle. Okay, so we're gonna ch check the, um, uh, the angle here and um, we'll go ahead and just uh, sweep the sign bar just to be thorough here. I'm gonna look in the camera and see if you guys can see the see the instrument there. Yeah, probably. Okay, so the sign bar is PF PFG, and I'll just let you guess what that means. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Let's. Uh, set up here and then uh, let's get under there like so get those up against that all right that's sitting down oops I need to back up a little bit so the reason I needed to back up is I got a little washer on the end here just to keep the part from sliding off the uh, the tail end there Okay, so yeah, looks like the field of view is still pretty good. This is not 
this is a slightly awkward position for me to sweep this, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. Let's see what we got here. All right. All right. That looks like about a half a thou. Six tenths. Back. Okay, my zero's good. Okay, so we're six tenths. Um, that's down, so this angle is acute by six tenths over that length. So. Okay, so zero's good. Verify. Yeah, okay. Let me get off of there. Let's get that out of the way. So minus. I'm going to lay that down so we're not sliding around on our reference surfaces. Let's uh, um, make sure we didn't uh, monkey with our, uh, with our 90 degree here. Nope, it's still good. So I, I lapped it again after I... Uh, and this is just a couple of strokes with 600 grid paper, guys. Uh, so I lapped those two surfaces again uh, after I deburred this one because there was a little a little fuzz on that uh, from from machining this angle. And you can see that just a couple of strokes on some 600 grid paper, this is actually reading like dead on now. Okay, um, let's uh, take that down. And then uh, we'll verify this against the, uh, yep, and it's, that's still on too, so trust but verify, right? Okay, so we're really looking pretty good here, except for our, uh, uh, our angles off a little bit. So uh, we're gonna go back and uh, see if we can, uh, we can tune that angle up a little bit. Okay, and then we want this end to be up one and a half. So let's do a little gentle hammering. One. One and a half. Okay, now if we're like really lucky. It's off a little bit, not bad. Re-zero here, since this is our reference end. Can you see all? Yeah, okay, you can see the gauge. Here. One, one and a half, two. Okay, we're well, just a, a skosh over. So you can see how you can chase your tail with this stuff for a while and uh, and uh, go around in circles. Oh, actually, that's looking pretty good now. Um, I'm gonna snug the vise a little. Don't move, please don't move. Okay. Three, zero. Okay, I snug the vise up a little more. I think I'm gonna call that good to go there. Okay, so we're snugged up, and I'm just gonna take a just enough to clean that up all the way across, and then we'll measure it again on the uh, on the sign bar. Now I don't have a sign bar under it right now, so I wanted to I knew what I wanted to do with that surface, right? Uh, which was kick that up, mow that off, which brings that angle in, okay? Uh, so I don't want the sign bar 
in there influencing me uh, um, with that. And I happen to know that that EDM sign bar doesn't agree with my, my other sign bars by a little bit. Um, you know, for shop grade work, it, it doesn't matter, but for this kind of stuff, uh, it does matter. So, okay. Okay, so that's what we expect, is it to just fade out. Let's uh, go uh, lap that real quick, and then we'll check it again. Okay, so let's uh, let's put this up there. I, I had to go back a couple of times and uh, and tune it up. Now um, let's put it on there very carefully. Push it down, and then what I wasn't doing before is pushing it up against that. Um, Okay, I think that'll work. Let's get that one out of the way. Now, if I can do this without hitting the damn camera here. So we haven't addressed uh, perpendicularity to the sides here, really. Um, which, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, really is, you know, that's the, the tricky part, is getting it all to happen at once. Okay. So that's just a milled surface there, a very smooth milled surface. I, ha I didn't lap that particular one, uh, I just wanted to see how bumpy it was with the indicator, and the indicator's not even, you know, it's not really moving, um, so the finish is pretty smooth. Okay. Now let's go forward and back here, I don't want to crash into the thing there, uh, let's do that in a couple places. Before I was getting a couple of a couple of tents across the face here like that but this, this isn't bad right now, okay all right, so that one's pretty good. I pronounced that one um, usable <laughs> I don't know what is it let's take that one off set that one aside let's put this one up there. Settle it. Okay. And this exercise is just, you know, it, we're just having fun here, okay? And uh, the, uh, but what it does is it really shows you what small little things can do, right? This one's out a little bit, three tenths, something like that. Let's see if our, we get our zero back. All right, not quite. Okay, so this one's got a little front to back here. You see that? Three tenths, front to back. So let's let's sweep down the center line. Let's try to stay on the center line. So if we wanted to go back and repair that, so what is that? Three. Three or four. Four. Now oh, we started at one. That's three. Okay. But this one's got some uh, some issues in this direction in relation to the surface plate here. In fact, you see that when I push on it a little bit, it's coming up against the 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it up against the plate or the uh, the granite square there. So you know, I'm, I'm just putting this, you know, very very light pressure there. Not even enough to break a. So there's a pencil lead, just to give you some idea of how hard I'm pushing. Not very hard at all to get it to seat against there. Anyway, like I said, this one's got some problems perpendicularity to the side, but uh, you know, Mr. Chuck didn't give us much to work with there. Uh, you know, we got some uh, some weld gouge there and whatnot. So uh, anyway, I pronounce these uh, usable, and uh, maybe for fun, we'll uh, we'll send them back to. Uh, um, did I say Chuck? I meant Stan. Um, I I can't even remember what I said now. I have to look at it when I edit the video. Anyway, that was kind of fun. I uh, hope you guys liked that. Um, and uh, you know, we we're doing some kind of comparative. Uh, uh, comparative work uh, to these guys here these little these nice little squares that Stan makes and uh, having a little bit of fun at the same time and thanks for watching guys